Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here and welcome back to another EVE Online video. In this one I'm going to cover the dev blog about the new rendering system that's coming in RIA. Uh, I want to make this video not so much to well explain the dev blog and all of that but I mean just ask yourself one question uh, while you're watching this video. What other developer shares this kind of information? I really want to make this video and uh, point you guys towards this dev blog to show you guys that CCP is actually a little bit different from most other developers out there. They actually share every single bit of information that they can with the player base. So let's go here, physical based rendering and making EVE look real. Um, you get a little bit of history uh, about what the main problems are when it comes to the rendering of graphics in a game. Uh, the fundamentals uh, basically are about knowing what color a given pixel on the screen is going to need and for that they use an equation which you get right here this is where my understanding of this stuff ends uh, i don't understand these equations uh, i know it's all about physics and, and i love science i love physics i love the cosmos and all of that stuff uh, but this is a, uh, already at, at, at a level that's too high for me but here it is ccp actually used these old equations in uh, the game to render the game the way it was and it was called the uh, Fong reflection model right there and this was used in a lot of uh, other games in, in movies even um, but it is an old system from 1973 so it is showing its age and it has certain limitations which uh, well with new technology new hardware and all of that stuff they can actually get uh, a better system going for EVE Online and that's what they're doing here with this new physically based rendering system. Um, the new equations if, if you're interested in them they are also in this dev blog and it's called uh, they've chosen for the Schlick's approximation for the Fresnel factor a distribution model for, from uh, Trowbridge and Wrights uh, and a Schlick Smith based visibility function. All in all a pretty standard PBA, a PBR cocktail when it comes to non-organic objects. Well I'm sure it is but it sounds pretty damn complex to me. Um, but the results I think are, are actually pretty uh, impressive. I really like the uh, the Megatron right here. Uh, this is uh, the, the PBR one is uh, in the front and the old one is in the back. And well it looks just a lot more metallic, uh, a lot more uh, solid the, the the old one yeah it has a, like I don't know uh, some sort of, of filter on it that that makes it a lot less smooth than than with the new PBR system I feel it's it's quite an improvement uh, I know a lot of people love what it does to the MR ships which unfortunately they're they're not really showing uh, a hull uh, of any of them in these screens but uh, they, they actually look golden once again which uh, a lot of people um, really love so yeah the reason I'm making this video here is because I think it really shows CCP's devotion to improving the graphics of EVE Online to bringing them to the next level continuously um, it's even mentioned right here that this is also a part of laying the foundation for the ship customization that they want in the game you know having alliances being able to fly their own colors is something that that CCP and the players want and this is a part of that development um, they show how complex it is, uh, they show how hard they are at work in, in all of this and it really does show that CCP is quite unique uh, when it comes to the sharing of information like this. I've, I've never seen another developer give out such, uh, such information um, as, as what we're getting right here in this dev blog. So yeah, I really, I just want to make this very quick vi video to show you guys uh, the way to this dev blog. And for any non-EVE players, just look at the kind of information we actually get from CCP. Uh, it's actually quite unique uh, in, in the gaming industry, in my opinion. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.